I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. The voice I hear falling on my ears, the Son of God discloses. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Hey everybody, Lady Cheryl here, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how I kill squash bugs and stink bugs. Both of them can do a lot of damage in your food forest or your garden, but the squash bug is the considered to be a little uh, worse than the stink bugs however both of them can fly both of them prey upon vulnerable plants and if you know what they like to attack in your garden then you can set up an area for a trap crop that way they will be concentrating on that area until they get um smart enough to know that that's where you're killing their family members and then they'll move on to another crop Okay, so in my food forest, it's my sunflowers. And I'll share with you what they look like. And first, I'll insert a picture here of what a stink bug looks like first. Because its body is very distinguishable because um, it the body of the uh, insect is just as wide as the length of the insect. And the stink bug looks very similar, except it's a little bit more slender and have long legs. Okay? All right. Let's get started. Sunday afternoon, about 1 o'clock, and I did what I always do, take a look around the garden. And it's getting hot here in North Texas. And I just walk around and see if I can catch some insects. Today, I found some stink bugs and also squash bugs all over my sunflowers. My spray bottle, I have a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap, just a small amount of neem oil and the rest of water. They're probably gonna jump. Are they too big for me to pick up? There's one dead right there, or dying. Um, a lot of them flew away. We know that it's a lot of them over here. They flew up there into that jujube tree. And uh, here's one I see. Let's see if I can get it. A little small one. See it? Right there. I had to put the phone down so I can spray it. So they'll be back. The sunflowers are pretty, but I really grow them for a trap crop. You can see I got more sunflowers getting ready to come here and here. These are what you call branching sunflowers, meaning they put on more than one head. Yeah, they'll be back. I'll just leave this neem oil and do soap. And actually, it would. Uh oh, okay. I see one. Y'all see it? It's holding on. Go closer. Get ready to spray it real good, but it's gonna plow. Woo! There it goes again. It's holding on. There's two of them dead right there. Or well, dying. See? don't like to put a lot of neem oil. Here's a little beetle right here. I don't like to put a lot of neem oil 
when it's hot like this outside. Here's another one. See right there? Spray it. I'm just gonna spray real good. I don't wanna kill the bees. Or wasps, actually. One is on the other side of that cord, going to the top. Ooh. He's still crawling. I'll just come out here and check every now and then. It's a squash bug right up there. I hadn't seen that many on my plants at one time in a long time. Gotta get rid of them now because they will soon start sucking on the, the juice of your tomatoes because it's getting hot down here. We're gonna be in 100 degrees in the next few days. I'm glad I came out when I did because I forgot to cover up my tomato plants. But let me show you what I'm talking about. I have to drape this 90% shade cloth because it's really, really, really hot out here right now. I think it's about 95, 96 degrees. My beans in the baskets are doing very well. As you can see, they're putting on beans. I'll be able to harvest some of these real soon, which the ease of it is going to just be so nice because i don't have to bend over or anything as you can see they're hanging from the greenhouse frame and i just put this one over here because it's in the shade and i'm still waiting on these um lettuces to produce seeds we got merlot and i forgot the name of this one this green lettuce, but uh, I'll look it up. But I won't be eating any of this lettuce that's going to see because lettuce gets bitter when it starts to bolt. But I want those seeds. Yes. Well, guys, I'm back in the house under nice, cool air condition, a ceiling fan and a oscillating fan in front of me because it's hot out there and it's only going to get hotter. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you will check me out uh, live every Monday night. I have a live chat. It starts at 7 central time and I share my over 40 years of experience of gardening and I also share tips if you have any questions about hair care and skin care because my background is in product development and cosmetology. So thanks again. You know that I love you and God loves you too. Bye everybody. We are now getting this order ready so that we can ship it. And we always take pride in our orders. Right, Bria? Yes. Okay. Bye everybody. Bye.